Brought to you by wikivd.com Extra Innings Extra Innings is the extension of a baseball or softball game in order to break a tie. Ordinarily, a baseball game consists of nine innings, each of which is divided into halves, the visiting team bats first, after which the home team takes its turn at bat. However, if the score remains tied, at the end of the regulation number of complete innings the rules provide that play shall continue until the visiting team has scored more total runs than the home team at the end of a completed inning, or the home team scores the winning run in an uncompleted inning. The rules of the game, including the batting order availability of substitute players and pitches etc., remain intact in extra innings. Managers must display caution to avoid using all their substitute players in case the game reaches extensive extra innings. The rules call for a forfeiture if a team is unable to field a full team of nine players. Home field advantage In Major League Baseball home teams won about 52% of extra inning games from 1957 to 2007. During this same time period home teams have won about 54% of all baseball games. So while the home team has some advantage in extra inning games this advantage is less noticeable than the initial home field advantage. Home teams tend to have the greatest advantage in run scoring during the first three innings. For the visiting team to win it must score as many runs as possible in the first half of the inning and then prevent the home team from tying or taking the lead in the second half. Because it bats in the bottom half of an inning a home team wins the game by taking the lead at any point in the final inning. Normally in such a situation the moment the winning run scores, for whatever reason the game immediately ends and no other runs are allowed. The term for winning in this scenario is a walk-off win. The exception is if the winning hit is a walk-off home run, all runners on base, and the batter must circle the bases on a home run so all their runs count for the final score. Each extra inning simply repeats this scenario. Asia The East Asian professional leagues NPBKBO and CPBL have a 12-inning limit before the game is declared a draw. Additionally, NPB games have a total time limit of three and a half hours during the regular season before being counted as a tie. In postseason play the limit for number of innings is extended to 15 and the last game is completely replayed if drawn leading to seven game series that can go on for eight games. There are no limits on the number of innings in the eighth game of the Japan series. The KBO does not play extra innings in the first game of a doubleheader. Tie games are discarded when calculating winning percentages since 2002 except for 2008, when it was counted as a loss in the league standings. Before 2002 they counted as half a win. Baseball In the 11th inning the manager selects anywhere in the batting order to start the inning. Regardless of the last player put out, the batter immediately preceding this newly designated leadoff man becomes a runner on first base, and the next preceding batter is placed on second base. In subsequent innings, the batting order continues as normal but the two players preceding the player scheduled to lead off the inning start on second and first. This has also been adopted by European League's Division de Honor Italian Baseball League and Honkball Hoof Class A. Since 2009 a modified form of the rule has been used for the World Baseball Classic. Unlike the standard rule the batting order may not start from a different place. Through the 2013 edition the first inning in which teams started with runners on first and second was the 13th. The rule was not used in either the 2009 or 2013 editions because no game lasted more than 11 innings. For the 2017 World Baseball Classic, 
The rule was modified to use extra runners for the first time in the 11th inning, and it would see its first use in a second round game between Japan and the Netherlands. At the Tokyo Dome, Japan won that game thanks to a sacrifice bunt and a two-run hit. Other methods include the following. Softball In international softball a special extra innings rule starts immediately after regulation. Each team begins their half of the inning with a runner on second base. This increases the odds that teams will score and ensures a faster resolution. There is a drawback, though in that the home team has a big advantage in going second. Should the visiting team fail to score all the home team must do to win is for example get a successful bunt and sacrifice fly to score the winning run. This rule is also used in certain NCAA college conferences, usually applied after one or two extra innings where the international tiebreaker is not used. MLB Spring Training During spring training in Major League Baseball whenever a game remains tied after 10 innings, it is declared to end in a tie. This is done because teams often travel on a daily basis and also to reduce chances for injuries because the games do not officially count in the standings. Minor League The record for the most innings ever played in a single professional game is 33, which occurred in a minor league game between the Port Huckett Red Sox and the Rochester Red Wings. AAA affiliates of the Boston Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles, respectively. Interestingly, each team had a future Hall of Famer on its roster, Wade Boggs for Paul Tuckett and Cal Ripken Jr. for Rochester. Major League Baseball The longest game, by innings in Major League Baseball was a 1-1 tie in the National League between the Boston Braves and the Brooklyn Robins in 26 innings at Braves Field in Boston on May 1. It had become too dark to see the ball and the game was considered a draw. Played rapidly by modern standards, those 26 innings were completed in 3 hours and 50 minutes. As was the custom, the first pitch was thrown at 3 p.m. Home plate umpire Barry McCormick called the game as lights began appearing in the windows of buildings across the Charles River just before 7 p.m. The longest American League game, and tied for the longest major league game by innings which ended with one team winning, was a 7-6 victory by the Chicago White Sox over the Milwaukee Brewers in 25 innings at Comiskey Park in Chicago in the game began at 7.30 p.m. on May 8, 1984, and after scoring early runs both teams scored twice in the eighth inning. But the game was suspended after 17 innings with a score tied 3-3 due to a league curfew rule prohibiting an inning from beginning after 12.59 a.m. The game was continued the following evening May 9, 1984 and both teams scored three times in the 21st inning to make the score 6-6. Finally, in the bottom of the 25th, the White Sox, Harold Baines hit a home run to end the contest. Tom Seaver was the winning pitcher in relief. A regularly scheduled game followed, meaning both nights saw 17 innings played. Seaver also started and won the second game. The official time of the entire 25-inning game was 8 hours 6 minutes, also a major league record. On September 11, the St. Louis Cardinals won a marathon night game against the New York Mets. After 7 hours 4 minutes and 25 innings also tied for the longest game to a decision in major league history. Two Mets errors led to the Cardinals winning run starting with an errant pickoff throw that allowed Bake McBride to scamper all the way around from first. St. Louis won 4-3. The Mets went to the plate 103 times a record in a major league game. The Cards were not far behind with 99 plate appearances.
All told, a record 175 official at-bats were recorded with a major league record 45 runners stranded. Only a thousand fans were still at Shea Stadium when the game ended at 3.13 a.m. ET. This was the longest game played to a decision without a suspension. On April 15, the Houston Astros defeated the Mets 1-0 in a 24-inning game at the Houston Astrodome. The six-hour, six-minute contest which ended with the Astros' Bob Aspromonte hitting a grounder through the legs of Mets shortstop Al Weiss in the bottom of the 24th remains the longest shutout game in Major League history. It also had the most scoreless innings in a Major League game. The longest American League game to end in a tie was a 24-inning contest between the Detroit Tigers and Philadelphia Athletics on July 21. The teams were tied 1-1 when the game was called due to darkness at Scheib Park. The Tigers' Les Mueller had pitched a record 19 innings before being taken out in the 20th inning. The longest game to end in a scoreless tie was a National League contest between the Cincinnati Reds and Brooklyn Dodgers on September 11. The teams went 19 innings before darkness fell at Brooklyn's Ebbets Field forcing the game to be called on account of darkness. In the American League the longest OO game was played between the Washington Senators and Detroit Tigers on July 16. The game was called after 18 innings due to darkness. At Bennett Park in Detroit, the longest scoreless period within a completed game came in the April 15. 1968 game between the Astros and Mets which remained scoreless after 23 innings. The Washington Senators became the first team in Major League history to play multiple games of at least 20 innings in a season when they defeated the Minnesota Twins 9-7 on August 9, 1967. In 20 innings having set a franchise record four innings played with a 22-inning win over the Chicago White Sox on June 12 of that year. This feat would later be accomplished by the 1971 Oakland Athletics who had games of 21 and 20 innings, and the 1989 Los Angeles Dodgers who played two 22-inning games against the Houston Astros in June, and the Mon Montreal Expos in August. The longest doubleheader in Major League history came on May 31. Dot. The San Francisco Giants beat the New York Mets 5-3 in nine innings in the day's first game at Shea Stadium and then won the nightcap 8-6 after 23 innings. The two games lasted a combined 9 hours 52 minutes. The Mets said Cranepool played in all 32 innings of the two games. Cranepool had been called up to the team that day after having played in both games of a doubleheader the day before for their AAA farm club in Buffalo. On April 5, the Toronto Blue Jays beat the Cleveland Indians 7-4 in 16 innings. The five-hour, 14-minute game was the longest opening day game in Major League history. On June 8, the Toronto Blue Jays beat the Texas Rangers 4-3 in 18 innings while the Miami Marlins beat the New York Mets 2-1 in 20 innings. This was the second time in Major League history that two games of 18 innings or more were played on same day. The first was August 15, 2006. On September 21, 2013, just past 2 a.m., E.T. The Tampa Bay Rays defeated the Baltimore Orioles 5-4 in 18 innings in a game that had started at 7.10 p.m. the night before. Both teams were in contention for an American League wild card slot, with Boston having won the AL East division while this game was being played. On September 24, 2013 the Arizona Diamondbacks set a major league record by playing their 77th extra inning of the season when the game against the San Diego Padres at Petco Park went into the 11th inning.
This broke the record of 76 extra innings played by the Minnesota Twins in on August 10, 2014, at 12.39 a.m., the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim defeated the Boston Red Sox 5-4 in 19 innings in a game that had started at 6 p.m. the night before. Albert Pujol's walk-off homer was quickly reviewed, per Boston's request but the call was confirmed. That same day the Toronto Blue Jays defeated the Detroit Tigers 6-5 in a 19-inning game of their Owned both teams used all their available bench reserves as well as their entire available bullpen. Toronto even used starting pitcher Marcus Stroman as a pinch runner at one point. Tigers starter Rick Porcello would be credited with the loss after coming into the game in the 18th inning. Toronto reliever Chad Jenkins would get the win after pitching six innings of relief with Jose. Bautista hitting a walk-off single to score Munori Kawasaki to win the game. Toronto starter R.A. Dickey had begun warming up in the bullpen in the top of the 19th, and likely would have come on in relief had the game gone to 20 innings. The game was the then longest in franchise history for Toronto. It is now tied with another 19-inning game a 2-1 loss to the Cleveland Indians on July 1, 2016. On April 11, 2015, the Boston Red Sox defeated their historic Al East division rivals the New York Yankees 6-5 in 19 innings at Yankee Stadium. The game began at 7.05 p.m. on April 10 and ended at 2.13 a.m. After 6 hours and 49 minutes of play, the game also included a 16-minute delay due to a brief power outage. It was the longest game between the two teams since the 20-inning 4-3 Yankees win on August 29, 1967. The length of the game in fact prompted a Twitter joke during the game by Yankees media personality Mark Fainzand. At 12.10 a.m. on the 11th regarding Mark Teixeira's birthday, Mark Teixeira was 34. When this game began, H.E. is now 35. Rue story. On May 28, 2017, the Tampa Bay Rays defeated the Minnesota Twins 8-6 in a 15-inning 6-hour and 26-minute game. Both teams combined had 115 at-bats, 33 hits and 21 strikeouts. This would be the second longest game in Tampa Bay Rays history. Notable postseason extra inning games The longest Major League postseason game was the second game of the 2014 National League Division Series with the visiting San Francisco Giants winning 2-1 in 18 innings over the Washington Nationals. The game ended just after midnight on October 5, 2014 and lasted 6 hours 23 minutes. The Nationals had been leading 1-0 with two out in the ninth inning, with starter Jordan Zimmerman one out away from a complete game shutout but following a decision by manager Matt Williams to remove Zimmerman with two out after the latter walked Joe Panic. Washington closer Drew Storen gave up a single to Giants catcher Buster Posey in an RBI double to Pablo Sandoval scoring Panic to tie the game 1-1. Posey was thrown out at the plate trying to score the second San Francisco run on Sandoval's double. Bruce Bocci challenged the call but the call stood and it in ended the top of the ninth. After Sergio Romo retired the Nationals in order in the bottom half, the game went into extra innings. There was no further scoring until Giants first baseman Brandon Belt led off the top of the 18th inning with a home run. Hunter Strickland a September call-up recorded the save. Another 18-inning contest was played between the Atlanta Braves and the Houston Astros on October 9, 2005, in the fourth game of a National League Division Series. At Minute Maid Park in Houston the Braves took a 6-1 lead into the eighth inning. A grand slam by Lance Berkman in the bottom of the eighth brought the score to 6-5 and 
With two outs in the bottom of the ninth, Brad Osmus homered to tie the game and send it. Two extra innings. The score remained deadlocked at 6-6 until the 18th, when the Astros' Chris Burke homered to left field to win the game and send Houston to the National League Championship Series against the St. Louis Cardinals. Roger Clemens, who was brought into pinch hit in the 15th and pitched the last three innings in relief, was credited as the winning pitcher in the five-hour 50-minute contest. In a somewhat odd coincidence, Adam LaRoche and Tim Hudson played in both 18-inning games, this one as Atlanta Braves, and the other one as opposing sides of one another, with Hudson pitching in both games as the visiting team's starting pitcher. It is the longest winner in a potential clinching game in baseball history. Exactly two weeks later on October 23, 2005 the same Houston Astros team lost to the Chicago White Sox in the longest World Series game by time Game 3 of the 2005 series played at Minute Maid Park which lasted 5 hours 41 minutes, breaking the previous record of 4 hours 51 minutes in Game 1 of the 2000 World Series. It also shared the record for the longest World Series game, by innings at 14 tied, with Game 2 of the 1916 World Series played on October 9, 1916 between the Brooklyn Robins and Boston Red Sox at Braves Field and Game 1 of the 2015 World Series played on October 27, 2015 between the New York Mets and Kansas City Royals at Kaufman Stadium. The 1991 World Series was the longest best of seven World Series ever in terms of total number of innings running out to seven games, three of which were extra innings contests. A total of 69 innings before the trophy was finally claimed by the Minnesota Twins. The 1986 National League Ch Championship Series, which also involved the Astros, was notable for its two climactic extra inning games. After the Astros and the New York Mets split the first four games of the series, the Mets won Game 5 in 12 innings and Game 6 in 16 innings to claim the pennant. The 1986 American League Championship Series between the Boston Red Sox and the then-named California Angels featured a dramatic game where the Angels were leading three games to one and leading 5-4 in Game 5 one strike away from the first ever pennant in franchise history only. For Red Sox, Dave Henderson hit a two-run homer off Angel closer Donnie Moore in the top of the ninth inning to give the Red Sox the lead. The Angels tied it in the bottom half. But in the top of the 11th Henderson's sack fly-off Moore proved to be the winning margin and the Angels lost the game. The series returned to Boston, and the Angels were outscored a combined 18-5 in games 6 and 7 to lose the pennant. The 1986 World Series between the New York Mets and Boston Red Sox went into extra innings in game 6 as well. The Red Sox scored two runs in the top of the 10th inning to take a 5-3 lead and then got two quick outs with no one on base in the bottom of the 10th. With the Red Sox one out away from their first world championship in 86 years, reliever Calvin Schiraldi gives up three straight singles to cut the lead to one run. With runners on first and third, Red Sox manager John McNamara replaces Schiraldi with Bob Stanley who then throws a two-strike wild pitch to Mookie Wilson to allow the tying run to score and move the other runner to second base. The wild pitch was particularly notable in that it completely turned the tables on the Red Sox from what they had done while facing the Angels weeks earlier as they themselves had now blown a situation in which they were one strike away from winning the series. Wilson subsequently hits a ground ball to first base that rolls through the legs of first baseman Bill Buckner to allow the winning run to score from second base sending the World Series to a Game 7. 
Had Buckner not committed this error the game would have either remained tied with runners on first and third for the next batter or would have gone to an 11th inning. The 1980 National League Championship Series played between the Houston Astros and the Philadelphia Phillies had four of its five games go to extra innings. The Astros won the second and third games in 10 and 11 innings respectively, while the Phillies took games four and five in 10 innings each. The 2012 American League Division Series between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees had back-to-back -back extra inning games going 12 and 13 innings respectively. The Yankees won Game 3 on a walk-off home run by Raul Ibanez, and the Orioles returned the favor the next night by winning Game 4. In the 1995 American League Division Series the Seattle Mariners and Yankees battled in Game 2 in 15 innings. The Yankees won the game on a two-run walk-off home run by Jim Leyritz setting the record for longest game in MLB postseason history by time until 2005. In Game 5 the Mariners won the game and the series in 11 innings on Edgar Martinez's famous double that scored Ken Griffey Jr. until 2011 This was the only LDS Game 5 in either league to go into extra innings. The 2014 American League wildcard game featured the first extra inning game in just its third year of postseason existence was won by the Kansas City Royals over the Oakland Athletics in 12 innings. The longest winner-take-all game in MLB postseason history is Game 7 of the 1924 World Series won by the Washington Senators over the New York Giants in 12 innings. All-Star Game The longest Major League All-Star Game by time was played on July 15, 2008, at Yankee Stadium with the American League winning 4-3 in 15 innings after 4 hours 50 minutes. This was the first time in All-Star Game in history that the Al won an All-Star Game in extra innings. The previous nine times the National League went 8-0-1 in extra inning games. The All-Star Game of July 11, 1967 at Anaheim Stadium also lasted 15 innings, but was considerably shorter in terms of elapsed time. The All-Star Game of July 9, 2002, at Miller Park was controversially declared a 7-7 tire after 11 innings, when both teams ran out of available pitchers. Japan Series on November 6, 2010 the record for longest Japan Series game was set in Game 6. The Chibalotti Marines and the Chanichi Dragons played 15 innings totaling 5 hours and 43 minutes. The game ended a 2-2 tie leading to a Game 7 in which the Marines won the game and the championship. College Baseball the longest college baseball game was played between Texas and Boston College on May 30, 2009, in a regional NCAA Division I baseball championship tournament game at Austin, Texas. Texas won the game 3-2, in 25 innings as the visiting team under NCAA tournament rules on home team declaration. During a tournament, the game lasted 7 hours and 3 minutes. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?